Hey guys, I had a ton of fun making this content all about the green mask stick, which is something that went viral on TikTok a while ago. And then I called them out, as well as a few other dermatologists, for blatant false advertising. And then they got back at me in a way that I absolutely found hilarious. I couldn't believe anybody would fall for it, but somebody must. I wanna show you what they did after I called them out on social media. So let's jump into these videos. First up, the green mask stick. I ordered it after seeing all these go viral on TikTok with blatant false advertising videos. And it's a small box, comes just like that. I can't read anything on it because I don't understand Chinese, but it comes from a company called uh, Median, which is there on the box. I think I paid somewhere around $24, $25. I think that included shipping and it took, I would say at least six to eight weeks to get to me. It took a long time. I suspect probably because it was coming from another country. Plus, I think they sold a lot of units because uh, they went viral on TikTok and I think that somebody must have fallen for their false advertising. But it's just a small stick. It almost looks like a stick of deodorant and it just pops up. This one's been sitting around a while so it's a little gunky on the inside and I used it in a few videos. But it doesn't really have a strong fragrance to it. I couldn't tell you what's inside of this but it just goes on kind of thick and goopy, doesn't rinse off really well. And so I tried this in my video to show that it doesn't work as advertised. I wanna show you what their videos looked like first so you can get an idea of how ridiculous these videos were. I can't imagine why anybody would fall for it, but here's the first video. So they're putting it on, you can see the quality of his skin before. They wipe it off and it's just perfect. So let's watch that one more time. I want you to see just exactly what his skin looked like before they put that stuff on. And then these little black dots pop up on there and then they wipe it off and it looks perfect. Here it is one more time. Lots of acne there. They rub the stick on. Little dots pop up out of nowhere. And then the skin is flawless afterwards. As they put out this video, and there's definitely more egregious examples, a lot of them have been taken down off of TikTok, but there's some that were just the worst textured skin I've ever seen, like horrible acne scarring, really felt bad for the individuals who had that, but it made me wonder if they were even doctoring the videos, the photos before, so that the before looked even worse than they really were, so they could really augment the after. But then they put like chia seeds on the skin or some other black dots. And I think that's supposed to simulate like this product is pulling out all this stuff from your pores. It comes up to the surface and you wipe it away and you have perfect flawless skin. Now, this takes place in a period of like 15 seconds for this video. I think that the little glitch is supposed to illustrate a time lapse. Other videos indicated that you should wait like 10 minutes with the product. And there's nothing that's going to change your skin that much in 10 minutes. I don't care who the company is or what they promise, nothing is going to change your skin like that in 10 minutes. So if you ever see anything like that, it is definitely too good to be true. Seeing all of those videos, I bit the bullet, I paid for it myself, and I did a little test. I wanna show you the video that I did, let you check that out. And the moment you've been waiting for, dermatologist reviews the green tea mask. Get a look at my skin before we got up close to the camera. Got this close to the camera. That's the stick I just showed you. Make sure I get good, even coverage. Wouldn't wanna mess up. And we're gonna wipe it off. No change and when I did. No change. But I realized what I did wrong, so bear with me while we try it again on my nose. I want to get a good even application on there because that's where my pores are most apparent is on my nose. And we're going to add chia I seeds. I added the chia seeds. That seems to be time. an important step in all of the videos. Sprinkle a little bit of chia seeds on there. Now let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Once it's on there, we're just going to wait a little bit of time. Got to give it time. Make sure it can do its magic. And the big reveal. Shoot, it doesn't show any changes. Is anyone surprised? Zero out of 10 stars, would not recommend. Do not recommend this product in any way. So this was clearly false advertising. I did a test and proved that it didn't work as advertised, but they persisted, they continued to put out their videos. So I had to answer back with another video or two of my own. This time I enlisted a little bit of help, so let's check that one out. Does it make you look younger? Let's see, we put it on, get ready to wipe it off. 
Whoa, what a transformation. Much younger. <laughs> Thank you to my son for helping me out with that video. Obviously the product does not work like that. It doesn't work the way that they advertised it, but I wanted to give an extreme example just to really poke fun at the company that they're using false advertising. It's not going to make you look younger or change your skin radically in the period of a few minutes. So given that, they continued to post. So I answered back with another video. Here, let's check that one out. All right, we're back with the green mask stick. Let's see if you can spot the mistake in this video. Of course, they're gonna put it on. We've got the chia seeds. There go the chia down. seeds. Here it is. Watch it again if you missed it, but they forgot to Photoshop the upper lip. So they got the product on the upper lip and then they didn't Photoshop the upper lip. So for some reason it didn't work in that area. So I had to point that out. This is total cap. This product doesn't work. If you haven't figured that out by now, I don't know how to help you. Now, I don't know if they were just trying to take videos from other dermatologists or what it was, or if they were particularly mad at me because I was going after them with several videos. But after a little while, I started getting tagged in this video and I couldn't download the original because it got deleted because it was a blatant copyright violation. So what they did is they stole my image from the original video that I did about it. Then they, they basically edited my video. They photoshopped my video to make it look like I was endorsing their product and that it worked on me. This was, I was so mad when it happened and then I actually kind of found it funny. Um, so I want you to take a look at that and then see what you think. Okay guys, this is amazing. I bought the product and I used there it I to am. show it doesn't work. And they used my video and added in the blur effect to make couldn't it, look believe like it worked on me. I have to say, I got beat on this one. Um, but please don't buy the product. They edited my video. They took away all my facial hair in that area. They took away the moles and freckles that I have. They eliminated everything in my own video into one of their videos to make it look like I endorsed the product and that it worked for me. So whether this was them trying to just use a dermatologist or pick on me particularly, I don't know. After this happened, I reached out to a couple of attorneys because I was like, can I sue them? Like this is clearly copyright violation. This is using my name, my image without my permission to sell a product that I know is garbage. I would never want anybody to buy this. And they're like trying to find the company in another country and then suing them and then winning in another country and then actually getting them to pay you. They're like, you'll spend thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of dollars to make that happen and you'll probably never get anything for your trouble. And so I didn't pursue it. I just would report the videos for copyright violation when they would pop up and thankfully TikTok would take them down when they would happen. But since I couldn't sue them, I decided to completely embrace my role as their spokesman and I created this video for them to really show that you could use the green mask stick on lots of different things and you could get amazing results. Since I've become the unofficial spokesman for this green mask stick, I thought I'd try it on a few more things and see what other miracles it can work. So I decided to get an old banana and put it on there. Let's see what the green mask stick can do. Incredible. If you've got a days old banana that's turning brown and mushy, just put the green mask stick on there, wipe it away, it'll be good as new, promise. All right, so clearly the green mask stick does not work. I do not endorse it. I hope none of you will ever buy it because the company doesn't have any ethics. They're using false advertising just to take your money. When it comes to skincare, if it's too good to be true, it probably is then don't spend money that you don't have. You don't need to buy every skincare product that a dermatologist or influencer talks about, myself included. I have my own line of 208 Skin products. I don't expect you to purchase them. If you're in the search for something and you wanna try them, that'd make me incredibly happy, but I don't want you to purchase things that you don't need or that you don't have the money to spend, and certainly don't purchase something that is making claims that cannot be backed up the green mask stick cannot back up the claims that they have. There's no clinical data. It's clearly false advertising. And in my own personal test, it doesn't work. So if you guys see any products that are advertising like this, using false advertising, and you want me to test them out, let me know. I'll purchase them and I'll show you that they do or that they don't work. Let me know down in the comments below if there's something you want me to try or review. And I'll put it into the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Happy holidays. <laughs>